All right, folks. This is your friendly neighborhood old soldier coming at you today from Robson County, North Carolina. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, still waiting to see if the house gets higher this week. I'm not sure what the holdup is. I'm gonna probably have to call today and see exactly when they're bringing it out to put on on the foundation. But waited this long was a couple more days, right? Anywho, anyhow, anyway, for you, brother Kyle. Let's talk about the Second Amendment. There are a lot of states coming out now claiming that they will become 2A sanctuaries. I think Oklahoma is the latest in that venue of uh, states that are making that claim, if you will. Um, and that's good. That's good. But the bottom line is this. We have an administration right now that is in control of the body politic of the nation. Of course, we all know they got there through ill-gotten means. Okay? They have created a, as many of y'all are calling, a pandemic to scare people. Um... I call it a Chinese bioweapon that they allowed into our country. Um, believe what you will, but that's my thoughts on it. And I'm, I'm going to get to the point of why it's the Second Amendment. You see, the Second Amendment, out of all the amendments, I think, is one of the most important, if not the most important. And you say to yourself, oh, Old soldier, why, why do you think that? You see, it gives us the people, we the people, the ability to protect ourselves from burglars, thieves, murderers, rapists, the ability to go hunt food, to protect our families and our property, but most importantly, above all else, to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government such as the one we've got in power right now. This administration knows that. I've talked about this before. And in order to subdue the population, they have to follow the suit of every other dictatorial leader that has ever walked the face of this earth. Hitler, Stalin, Mao, Ho Chi Minh, just to name a few, Fidel Castro. All of them, first thing they did when they got to power is disarmed the population. And then for those that would not conform even after being disarmed, they eradicated. They killed. Think about that for a minute. That's why I say the Second Amendment, above all else, is the most important amendment in our Bill of Rights. Because it gives us the ability to protect the rest of them. Well, you might say, well, old soldier, you know, you got the right to free speech, freedom of press. You can print, you can write, you can state your opinion. Yeah, I do that all day long. But when I'm attacked and libeled and marginalized and demonized and lied against for speaking truth and then physically attacked with no means of defense, how many people are actually going to get out and speak what they feel? Especially if they disagree with what the tyrannical government is spewing out to the people in mass. Let that sink in for a minute. What about all the other amendments? Again, the Second Amendment gives us that ability to protect all others. You see, once the Second Amendment's gone, they won't pay any, any sort of respect to the Fourth Amendment. 
because at that point in time they're going to come and take as they please as they will when they want how they want okay again if you had no means to defend yourself what's to stop a tyrannical government from coming in and taking everything you own take your family if they want do with them what they want you're saying to yourself well how could how could we get to this point well that's a good question read the naked communist folks lays it all out we see the hypocrisy of many of the movements that the left is using right now you've got BLM leaders buying multi-million dollar homes spending money you know hand over fist which to the credit of some they're starting to question where this money goes that they have given to this communist organization but is it enough is it too little too late to carry I don't know um, my personal opinion is BLM and Antifa need to be declared as terrorist organizations not just domestic worldwide and hunted down like the dogs they are just like we did with Al Qaeda okay because if we continue to allow those movements to grow what's going to happen is it let's just say hypothetically in 2024 Donald Trump's reelected and the conservative government takes charge you think what you saw in 2016 was bad why because we have refused to put down movements like Antifa and BLM and put them in their place and what's that other that dude out of Georgia um Oh Lord, he went to Stone Mountain, you know, shot, you know, and three of his people got shot because they don't know how to handle firearms. Uh, I can't think right now; it escapes me. But you know, the guy—he's a hypocrite. Um, he's a hypocrite. He claims to have been in the military and claims to know this and that about firing. He didn't know squat. Now he's exercising his rights according to the law I'll give him that but I bet you if you ran background checks on every one of the members of his organization you'd start to see some of them aren't supposed to have firearms and the ones that do I don't think have any decent training obviously the leader of the group doesn't um, he's just a loud mouth but he's a loud mouth that has organized people and they have armed themselves. So now they go around intimidating people. I thought it was funny how he, he said, we'll take Texas. And I'm thinking to myself, I might want to go talk to the people in Texas about that because I don't think they're going to give in to your demands with your little meager group of people. But this thief in chief in his administration has allowed some of these terrorist groups to bolster their their foothold here in the U.S. Now, again, you're saying, well, you started off talking about Second Amendment. I'm going to come back to it now. You see, by allowing all this to happen, because if you've watched some of the news, you know, there's talk about letting the U.N. be able to do things here in the United States. And when I say let, I'm talking about military force. And who would chomp at the bit to get a military force on the ground without firing a shot? China. Now, let that sink in for a minute, too. You see, if this legislation of lawlessness continues up there, these legislators just, you know, passing bills and without regard to the Constitution... They're going to pass a law, which we all know will be illegal, but they're going to pass it anyway to confiscate, ban, whatever you want to call it, and take try to take away our firearms. And see, I think, too, that they know that we, the people, the true patriots of this nation, are not going to go down without a fight. And so they'll go to their friends in the U.N. because, see, that's the other thing. I don't think all of the military are going to comply with 
going to people's homes and saying, you know what, you need to get, in. you know, and I, I speculate here, but I kind of look at the the poll taken with the Marine Corps and 40% of the active Marines said they're not going to take the COVID vaccine. Well, and I've spoke to several members that are still active duty in the Army that are like, no, I didn't. they're like, I don't care how I many of my leaders take it and tout that they've got it. Um, you know, they're, they're smelling the BS and, and not going for it. Even though some of my former leaders that I admire and respect have taken it and are promoting it. My son-in-law is under pressure to take it from his chain of command. Well, from his first sergeant. I guess she's a little libtard, I don't know. I don't know the lady personally, but it kind of sounds that way. Um, but his commander, like, you don't want to get it? Cool. So, I, I, I don't know. But anyway, he's under pressure to take it from portions of his chain of command. And he's like, F no. Uh, and he's not the only one in his units that way. So that gives me some indication that, that if the military is employed to come and take our firearms, there will be many that will be like, that's not a lawful order. So then that's going to force our liberal-minded legislators to go to the UN and say, our own military won't help, so we need military force to come and give China their foothold that they want so desperately in this nation for when they launch their ultimate plan, which I think is to try and take over this country. Now, I might sound like a crackpot, and I might sound like a an idiot to some, but... If you read that book, The Naked Communist, and you see what communism is truly all about, you know, here in the United States, you think about what, think about it, Bill Gates buying up all this farmland, why? Okay. See, these in cahoots with China. You see, for as large as China is, their population is growing. America is still one of the greatest breadbaskets in the world when it comes to production. So keep that in mind as well. Anywho, anyway, anyhow, folks, that's all I've got for today. Just take those things and play them in your mind how you will. Um, I want you to check out my new t-shirt from Everyday Plankers. You can get these at everydayplinker.com. Remember, freedom isn't free. You can get yours today at everydayplinker.com. I got mine. They give it to me for free because I'm a mouthpiece. But anyway, anywho and anyhow, y'all stay safe, stay vigilant, stay armed. Keep your eyes open. Keep your ear to the ground. Keep your head on a swivel. God bless. Take care. Stay safe. Watch out for one another. Until tomorrow, my friends. God, soul soldier. Out.